Hey guys, Josh with JDRC. Um, today I've had a few guys ask me about uh, how to use their LiPo charger. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick video or long video, either way, of the uh, C150 um, single LiPo charger. That's 150 watt, 10 amp. Um, so, all right, let's get started on that. Just kind of how to set your settings and stuff. All right, so here is the C150 charger that I have on Amazon. It's like maybe 50 bucks or so. Um, so we're gonna start off. I have a Z-Bat with a uh, EC5 connector on it. It's a, just a 2S and then I also have an HRB um, 6000 uh, 4S with a Dean's connector just to give you an idea of how to uh, set this up. So, don't know how well that's going to come into view there on this s screen here, but okay, so pretty simple. We'll start with 2S. You'll uh, plug your balance port in. You've got your 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S. Um, that's what this one is capable of too. So, there we are into our 2S port. Then we've got our EC5 connector here. We'll plug that in there. Okay, so let's see if we can get a good image of this. Hopefully it comes out sometimes. Um, so you'll start off with lithium battery, obviously, because that's where you're running. Um, so you'll select that. You'll go to LiPo storage or whatever setting you want by pressing plus to, to zoom out. You know, you got LiPo discharge, LiPo balance charge, um, sorry if that's not really getting a good shot of that. Lipo charge, fast charge, storage. So anyways, um, we'll start off with balance charge. That's, that's the best thing you want to do anytime you charge a lipo. Uh, balance charge. You always want to balance your, your cells. So um, you'll hit play on that. Mine's already set. So lipo, obviously, that's what you want to have it set to. You have the LiHV, you have the Lilo, um, Lio, you have Life and you have LiPo. So you need to hit play again. Now, 5.2 amps. So it's the 5200. So you'll set that to basically 52, 5.2. Um, it can go all the way up and all the way down um, to whatever yours is. So say it's a 6,000, you'll uh, adjust this up to 6.0. If it's a 5200, you'll run it down to 5.2. If it's a 4200 milliamp, you you'll run it to 42. So that's, you know, that's your MAH, M-A-H. Run it, you know, whatever your M-A-H is, put that to nine point or five point or whatever it is. Um, so we'll go 5.2 on this. Then over here, you hit play again. That's gonna come over to here and you're gonna set this. So if you have a 4S battery, you'll set it to 4S. If you have a 2S, 2S, uh, 3S, 6S, whatever, you know, your S is. So as you can see, it says 2S there, 7.4 volt. If it asks you to change that, change it. We'll press play again, we'll hold it down. It's gonna come up battery check and it's gonna make sure you're on 2S. So if you accidentally set it, say 4S, it'll come up here and say 2S confirm. And you can stop and go back and change it or make sure that's right. If it's right, you'll hold play again and it'll start charging. So while it's charging, you'll see your time displayed here, your balance time, um, how, mu how much, uh, milliamps is put into the battery your voltage here uh, set 5.2 2s lipo now, if you hit your plus that'll show your cells so it's a 2s so you got 3.862 that's what mine are on because they're at storage charge you have all your cells here so if you have a 3s it'll show if you have 4s 5s and 6s it'll show all your cells you want all those to be within a range of um you know about 10 thousands of milliamps or whatever it is um so your 54 here and 56 here, see how close those are. That's where you want those. If those are like, if this one's say 3870 and this one's 3830, you definitely need to try and balance charge. If it ends up balance charging fully and those aren't still super close, you could have some cells that are going bad. So, you know, they, they should always be within range of, of about, you know, 10 units here. So um, anyways, that's where we're at there. So I'm gonna stop that because it's at three point. Um, same with, you know, so this is a balance charge. 
you can swap it lipo charge if you want to do a quick charge and you've balanced it enough um you know you can do a fast charge you know once in a while is fine um same with the regular lipo charge uh you can do that too every now and then you don't have to balance charge it every single time i do just because i like to but um storage charge this takes a long time but if you're going to store your batteries for longer than a few days put it on storage charge charge it to where it's supposed to be which is about three three point eight five that's where I like mine at 3.83, 3.85 in that range. Not 3.5, not 3.6, not 3.7, um, but you want it at 3.85. So <clears throat> that's where I keep mine at. Um, you don't want them at 3.9. You don't want to store them fully charged because they will degrade the life of the battery or possibly, you know, can cause other issues. Um, and you don't want to store them empty because that can ruin the battery also. Um, if they drain too low, they're basically garbage you know if you get under 3.1 3.0 3.2 somewhere around there if you get under those amperages or uh, volts then uh rather then they're no good anymore so uh moving on so storage charge same thing you just set your settings set your settings um it's gonna check and then make sure it's 2s yes and then same thing it's gonna do a storage if it's full it's gonna drain it, it takes a long time it's best to just run it in your car until it's until you can check it and have charge so i'll tell you how to check it too so that's your settings man it's super easy um for what you want to do discharge you're never really going to use unless you're going to trash your battery it's no good you want to throw it away you'll want to drain it all the way and then put it in basically what they call salt water bath you can look up videos on how to do that um that just basically drains the battery completely so that it would be safe to dispose of without it blowing up on your garbage man <laughs> so anywho so we can back out of here you have your lithium bat there, and then, uh, let's see, that also does nickel metal, NICADs, lead acid. Um, here's the user settings. You, you can go into there and, and play around, look at stuff on that. Um, I don't really change anything there. Um, extra function. So this is where you'll go to extra function, press plus. Um, you got your load memory, lithium bat. Um, that's all showing that. So let's go to user functions, press play. That's like all your different beep buzzers. Um, you know, all the sounds you want to cycle waste time, low input volt cutoff, um, temp cutoff, just basically all your settings for that. Okay. So extra functions, this is where you're going to do balance charging or check your balance, your ports and stuff. So you'll hit play on extra function battery status. So we go to battery status, select, if you can see that lipo set there. Okay. And then hold down the play. Now this is gonna tell you what yours is at. I'm right at 50%, so I'm perfect at storage charge. You can press the plus here and you can see, okay, I'm at 3.55, 3.59, that's perfect. So that's storage, set it, you know, put it down there for storage. I'm not gonna run the battery for a while probably, so I'm just gonna leave it there. So that's how you can check. So you can run your car, you know, at a full battery, run it 15 minutes or so. Then you can unplug your battery, plug it in here, go to your extra, you know, your extra functions go over to battery status and you can check it and see, okay, I'm at 3.7. So put it on the charger, put it on storage, let it charge up the storage, store it. If you're at, uh, you know, 3.8, you know, nine or 3.9, um, same thing. You're, you're close enough that you can put it on storage charge and it won't take forever. If with these chargers, I've noticed if you're full battery or if you're really low battery, it takes uh, a while to storage charge. This storage charge on this is super, super slow. So when my battery's low, I'll put it on a regular charge, like a balance charge, and charge it until it hits 3.85 and take it off. And that'll, I'll just manually, it's so much faster to do it manually and just actually charge the battery up to 3.8 than to put it on storage charge. But that's just me personally. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's that's about basic. If you have any other questions, you can let me know, but um, we can back back out. And that's your, you know, your battery status select. There's other functions on your battery IR. Um, balancer so you can do a balancer and just balance your ports um you know checks all that um you can go into there select lipo hit play and it'll say they're already balanced so balance in because mine are already balanced within the ranges they need so it says balance in because it's it's perfectly balanced right now um so that's about it that's everything you need to know um, you know, just start off with lithium battery and that's how you get to your charging, discharging, all that, all your settings to cycle through, 
this backs you out of your menus. Um, pretty simple, works great. Takes about uh, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour for most batteries I've used, uh, 2S, 3S, and 4S. I haven't had a 6S yet charge on it, um, but I've done a 4S, which is real close, and that takes about 45 minutes, 45 to 50 from empty. So again, this is Josh with JDRC, man, and hope this video was helpful for y'all. Have a good one.